Hey everybody, today um, I'm going to show you how to set this camera up, the Aztec Mole. Um, there's two versions to this camera, there's a wired version and a wireless version. Um, I did a lot of research on the cameras and the reason I chose this one mainly was because it works on the iPhone, it works on any browser. Um, I was able to get it to work uh, over the internet without using this service they sell, this YOICS service. Um, it's free, but you get very limited uh, usage out of it. So anyways, uh, this also has H.264. Um, looked like a pretty good camera overall. Got pretty good reviews everywhere I read about it, um, and I compared it to some of the other cameras. So anyways, uh, I'll show you the setup and then kind of the way I have it installed, and then I'll walk you through this setup and how to get it to work over the Internet without too much other uh, hassle. Okay, so here's the here's the camera we mounted, um, and I put it on the I basically mounted it on the wall, and ran the wires up through the ceiling. I ran an Ethernet cable and the power cable into the ceiling. Put a little faceplate on to make it you know look cleaner, cover the hole. Um, I have a power ca I have a power outlet in my attic, so that kind of made it pretty easy to mount. Um, the wireless version, you still got to find a place to plug it in. Um, and that's about it. The uh, the camera is about, f we use it to monitor this crib here mainly. Uh, so if you notice this crib, um, it's probably about five and a half uh, feet away, maybe five feet away. Uh, so the problem is there's no zoom on the camera. So you have to take that into account if you're monitoring. If, if this camera was any close, I wouldn't be able to get the entire crib into the view of the camera. Uh, so to do motion detecting and stuff like that would not work as well. Um, anyway, so let me get on to the setup. Uh, that's basically how I have it installed. Hey everybody, um, I'm gonna show you now how to set this camera up. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is plug your camera in to the ethernet port on your router, um, then plug the power in. So plug the camera in first, then the power. Um, your camera will boot up. It'll pan back and forth, uh, pan up and down. And when the camera stops, it should be ready to go. And what it'll do is it'll request a DHC, it'll, it'll request a IP address from your DHCP server on your router. Um, so I have a Mac. Um, I'm not sure wh where it's gonna be on, on any other particular router, but I have a Mac with a time capsule. So I go into the airport utility and from there, I go to enter, um, Airport. If you click on Wireless Clients, then you can go to DHCP Clients. You'll see the list of all the DHCP ad, um, addresses that have been um, that have been given out to your various devices. Uh, so find the ones that don't already have a client ID or anonymous. And what you're going to do is start with the first one and go over to your web browser and start typing those addresses in. So like. This is just an example. So if I was to type that address in, when I finally get a hit, I'm going to see the camera interface come up. Um, once I have this camera interface, I'm going to want to go to System, uh, Initialize, and I'm going to need to. I want to upgrade the firmware. Um, so the best thing to do is go to uh, molecamera.com and go to firmware support, firmware download, and download the latest version. Once you download that, um, note where it downloaded it to, go back, hit choose file, select the file, um, hit OK, and that will then, do, do not unplug the camera during this process, uh, that will upgrade the firmware on your camera. Um, once the firmware on your camera has been updated, um, go back to the advanced tab and go to the network tab and by default it's set to dynamic IP address you want to change it to fixed IP address and specify a IP here for your IP address that's outside the range of your DHCP um, so if I come back over here and go to internet DHCP you'll see the ending range on mine is 200 so therefore I assign just one I can remember easy 210 um, your gateway is 
one if if your router is set up to use 192.168 as the internal um, IP address. Um, I left the port at 80. You can modify this if you want now. If you have a wireless version of the camera, you want to go ahead and click Enable Now. Um, apply, after you're done with those changes, apply the settings. If you leave this, leave this without applying the settings, it won't apply it. Um, so that should get you most of the way there with the setup. The next thing to do is go to the media tab and go to video. Um, what I did was I went ahead and bumped the resolution, the bit rate, the frame rate, quality, all that up um, as high as these would go since I'm going to be using it most of the time internally. Uh, apply those settings um, and then basically the camera should be ready to go. Um, now. The other thing you want to do is if you want to access this camera outside of your local of your local um, network, you're going to need to port forward. So if you go back to the airport utility um, and you go to NAT, so go to Internet, go to NAT, go to Configure Port Mappings, and what I did was, if you notice here, I already have personal web sharing. Basically, it's port 80. So what you want to do is, you don't have to specify a service or anything, and depending on how you do port forwarding on your router might differ, but the, the basic gist is you want to forward on port 80, you want to forward to the address that we set over here, uh, right here. So whatever this address is, you want that address as your, as your private IP address and then the port for the private. So basically we're saying that if anything comes in on traffic, any traffic comes in on my external IP on port 80, forward that traffic to, to my internal of two, my internal address of 210 on port 80. Um, so that should get your, and, and just to show you that that works, um, I can go here and uh, refresh. And as you see, this is my external IP address and it's connecting into my camera. Um, so that's about it. Uh, you, a couple of other little things you can do. Um, you can browse your SD card. So you can, you can configure, um, you can configure the DVR functionality here. You can tell it how you want to set it up or you want it to go to YouTube. Um, oh, one thing I would do definitely if you're setting this up for external access is go to user. Enable authentication and turn uh, set a set a password for each one of these things. Um, anyways, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, post a comment. Thanks.